Welcome back to Just Doing Nails. Today I'm going to show you a poly gel kit from McCart. Hi everyone, welcome back. So today we're gonna look at a poly gel kit from a company called McCart, and they call it a nail extension gel kit. Here on the side of the box, they have everything that comes with it. So let's go ahead and open it up. I hope everyone is having a nice day, evening, or afternoon, whatever you're doing. So first we're gonna look at the nail lamp that comes in this kit, and it's a 24 watt UV LED nail lamp open it up and this is a type of cord that comes with it they've included some instructions for the nail lamp always read your instructions okay so here it is so at first glance um, I think it's really sleek looking kind of like the simplicity of it the cord will go around the back here and the bottom of it slides off by like a magnetic mechanism here the one thing though it did not have lights on the top of it which was kind of a bummer i feel like you need lights on top of any nail lamp well that's a nail lamp for you guys let's move on to the poly gel part of the kit you guys let me know down in the comments if you've tried this kit out before and what you thought of it Here's the poly gel portion of this kit and it comes with a 100 180 grit foul. It also comes with a brush and picker. And this is how the brush and picker look and some people call this the spatula. I personally call it a spatula as well. This kit also comes with dual forms and there's quite a bit of them i'm just going to show you guys them i'm not going to demonstrate with these today but this is the biggest size that comes in here it also comes with nail forms and it was a pretty good thick pack of nail forms and here's the top and base coat and here are the three colors that come in this kit there's clear there's bright white and there's natural pink it also comes with glitter, which I was a little excited and I'll show you guys that a little bit later. So the solution of alcohol I'm gonna use today is 70%, but 91% is definitely recommended. And I'm gonna be using a dappen dish as well. So you'll wanna pour your alcohol into the dapping dish or whatever container you choose to use it. That way it's there waiting for you. I'm gonna show you guys the clear color first. Let's go ahead and open it up. So I do wanna note that I did use tweezers because I have opened up these bottles before, these type of bottles, and they're very hard just using your hand or fingernail. They can be very challenging to open up. All right, so here's that first color, the clear. Next, I'm gonna show you the bright white. And coming out of the bottle, as you guys can see, it's really bright. And the consistency of these two were a bit tough um, to get out of that bottle, so they were really stiff and hard. So next, the natural pink. Now I will say this natural pink was very easy to squeeze out of this tube. And that's that was kind of my experience with the Gershian Poly Gel Kit that I reviewed a while ago. Um, the pinks seem to be a little bit easier. I don't know why, but here's that color. Let me know if you guys had that same experience or not, um, or what you guys might do to get those poly gels to come out a little bit better. Here's the white. I'm gonna swatch this for you guys. And you guys kinda get to see me fumble with, um, <laughs> try to maneuver this poly gel around. It was very hard. As you can kinda see, it was really stiff. And it was just hard overall to try to get it to maneuver. And I think, honestly, that might have had a lot to do with the potency of the alcohol that I chose to use. Um, like I said, probably having 91% would have been better. Yeah, because it was quite a bit of a struggle, as you can see. 
as you see i have the brush saturated now with the alcohol and it it moves a little bit better so i'm gonna cure that another downfall about this lamp though is it didn't have a digital timer to it so that was a kind of bummer all right here's that bright white swatch for you guys next i'm gonna swatch the clear color for you guys all right so one thing i noticed off bat um, as i was trying to squeeze this next bead out of this tube i noticed something it was almost empty and as you can see i only did one bead from this tube so far i was not very happy about that <laughs> like really mccart come on i love this i love mccart um but i don't know what happened with this tube like look at it come on you there's no way you can even do a whole set with this tube so that was that was a real bummer all right let me go ahead and get back to swatching this for you guys after complaining about that tube i was just really upset when you pay for something you know you kind of want you want it to be full all right so like i said i struggled with putting this clear on along with the white color let me know if you guys have any techniques or if you guys see anything that I'm doing wrong when I'm um, trying to maneuver this on there. Here's that color for you guys. Let me know if there's any other techniques I can use to better maneuver this poly gel because it looks easy to do, but believe me, it's not if you're not used to dealing with poly gel. All right, so this pink, like I said, the pink is like butter. It goes on really well. It's easy to squeeze out the tube. I didn't really have an issue with maneuvering this pink around. And there is that color swatch for you guys. All right, now I'm gonna go on to the glitter. This first glitter is called Sky Blue. And I'm gonna give you guys a close up. Isn't that just beautiful? It reminds me of like mermaids. It's very iridescent. The next one is just called white. It's kind of powdery and with the glitter in there too as well. It would be perfect for the seasons coming up like Christmas. Next, this one's called silver, which it's silver. And it's, it's very nice too. All these glitters were just amazing. I don't know if you're a real glitter fan like me, uh, but I love me some glitter. And I love glitter because literally glitter can fix almost any nail design issue. Um, well, maybe I might be over exaggerating, but I've seen it save a lot of designs. Oh, and look at this blue. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so as I was saying, yeah, glitter, you can use it just to liven up the designs and use it to save a design. And so to demonstrate that, I'm gonna go ahead and use glitter for this clear one that I kind of messed up with. Um, it looks really bad. <laughs> so I'm gonna pick some glitter to save this and make it look all pretty like. So I'm gonna use a sky blue. Let's go ahead and open it up. And I'm just gonna pour it in the well of the swatch. And then I'm going to take some more, well, basically the rest out of this, because let's just face it, there was really nothing in this to begin with. <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and put it on there. So, yeah, as you see, I'm making another mess again, trying to get this on there and... I don't know maybe i should warm these poly gels up i seen another youtuber warm their uh, tubes up before they use them and i haven't tried that method yet as you see i have been dipping my brush properly into the alcohol so i don't know that's that doesn't seem to be the issue so all right here it is doesn't it look much better <laughs> like you can't even tell it looked a hot mess all right, so I'm gonna test out the top coat for you guys because you know I always like to do that for you. And here's before and after. I honestly didn't recognize a big difference, but let me know if you guys did. Okay, another idea that came to me was like, oh, if I had some fish stickers, I could just make an aqua nail. So I just wanted to show you guys that really fast, that little quick design. 
Okay, so there are those colors one more time for you guys before I head out. Let me know if you found this review helpful and if you've tried this McCart kit before. Don't forget to leave me a like if you enjoyed the review, leave me a comment, and also remember to subscribe to Just Doing Nails if you haven't yet. I'll see you guys on my next review.